Ladies and gentlemen, school is in session. Prepare yourselves for the school of Croc. Did it look like I was saying that? Good morning, crocodilies. How you guys doing out there? Today is going to be such a special, special school of Croc. The animal we have today, you can see my hands are empty, so we brought in someone else. The animal we have today is one of the most amazing animals at Gatorland. I love this animal so much. Uh, it doesn't come out here and interact with me personally so much, but with other people in the park. And uh, I'm excited for you guys to see it and I know you're gonna have such amazing questions. Now, for those of you who watched the live at five yesterday on our YouTube channel, Gatorland Vlogs, I did spend the night here at Gatorland last night and uh, it was an exciting night. If you guys wanna check out those videos, you can on our YouTube channel, Gatorland Vlogs. Also, if there's any merchandise you see, t-shirts we have on during any of these things, you guys can go buy those things and it would really help us a lot at Gatorland.com. There's a gift shop there. You can get all kinds of stuff. It's rated one of the best gift shops in the state of Florida. It's pretty amazing. Gatorland.com. You guys could get some merchandise. It might help us keep working a couple days longer than we already are. And that would be amazing. So here's a hint. Listen to this sound and tell me if you guys can guess what the animal is going to be today in the School of Croc. Ooh, is anybody guessing, Cameraman Dan? All right, well, we have guesses coming. We have a lot of hellos. So hey! we got Jamie and Aiden. Hey, Christine, how's it going? Avery, hello. Has anybody got any guesses what that sound was? Let's hear the sound again if we can. Ooh. What do you guys think? Hey, can I, 80. Can hey, Tam. Oops, Shelly said right away. Don't say it. Don't oh, I'm going to say it. Okay. I'm going to try it too. Can Go I ahead. try it? I'm going to try it. That's a baby silverback gorilla that you just did? No, it's no? not. No? Okay, just checking. <laughs> An orangutan? How many people are in there now, Cameraman Dan? Uh, we got a little over 200 people. Okay. And uh, people are guessing it. Rebecca, Amy, they're all saying great horned owl. What do you think? How do they know that? I don't know. They're All just right, saying guys, that. I want to introduce you to Tyson, who takes care of our great horned owl, Athena. How you doing, guys? Tyson here at Animal Care. Athena is my most favorite animal here at the park. <laughs> and there's that who noise you guys just heard. So um, Athena is about 14 years old. She was a rescued owl. Okay, she uh, lives here at Gatorland. She was hit when she was really young. She was hit by a car. Um, and unfortunately, owls like to go down to the road. They get roadkill and they are hit by cars uh, pretty often. So Athena was hit and actually the people that hit her were nice enough to stop, pick her up and take her to the nearest wildlife sanctuary. Now she was taken there and they rehabilitated her. Her left wing, you guys will notice, her left wing hangs a lot lower than the right side. That's because that's the side she was hit on and it was so severely damaged. Um, this is the best repair that they were able to make. So she is not flooded. She is unable to fly whatsoever, um, but she is not deemed non-releasable back to the wild, which means she's gonna spend out the rest of her life here at Gatorland in amazing care. And I work with Athena every single day, anywhere from five minutes to an hour. I spend as much time with this bird. We have bonded over the last six years. We have an incredible bond with each other. Do we have any questions, anybody? Look at her. She's Anybody lovely. have any questions about this beautiful owl we have here? Look at him. Just kiss on top of the head. That's great. Let's have a close look at her. She is beautiful, right, Kimberly? Yeah. So, Tyson, tell us a little bit about her head and the rotation and how far it can go. Okay, so big myth out there is owls can rotate their head about 360 degrees. Actually, it's about 270. If you notice, most birds um, are able to turn their head when they're sleeping. Some of them will turn around, they'll tuck it in the back here between their wings. It's 270 degrees around. Now, she does have those big old eyes. Those are so she can see far away. And if you guys will notice right here, you'll see the eyes are actually yellow. So cool fun fact about owls is mm -hmm. you can tell when, what type of day they like to hunt by the color of their eyes. So Athena has bright yellow eyes. So believe it or not, she's called the diur diurnal. So she likes to hunt during the daytime. She will hunt at night, but her favorite time is during the day. Uh, if you guys look at Eurasian eagle owls, they have the orange eyes. That means dawn and dusk. Uh, and for barned owls, barred owls, and stuff like that, if they have a dark pupil, um, that means they like Whoa. to hunt at night. She looks amazing. Mm -hmm. 
So we have several people asking what she eats. Christine and Avery were asking what she so eats. So believe it or not, this is one of the most diverse raptor birds on the planet. These guys are not picky eaters. They eat anything from bugs, worms, frogs, crickets. Uh, rodents is their, is their number one favorite. They will eat anything up to about five pounds. They're not picky eaters. They can eat anything, snakes, turtles, uh, possums, skunks, all sorts of, all sorts of stuff. These guys, uh, and they're the most widespread uh, spread owl over the, across the Americas. There's the common owl, our common great horned, and then you have a coastal. Um, and the only difference between the two is one has a little bit more white, it's a little light colored because it's gotta blend in with the Northern Territory like the snowy areas. So, so I brought you a present, Tyson, if you want to, um, if you want to see if Athena wants to eat breakfast with okay. us. Okay, so what we're gonna do, guys, I'm gonna try and see if Athena wants to eat some breakfast this morning. Uh, we're gonna give her one of her absolute favorite meals, and that is a little mouse. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if she's interested in taking it this morning. Athena, hey. Who's she she's, watching? She's focused over there, looking at Todd. <laughs> hey. There you go. Oh, you whoa. That? Now what she's doing right now is she's crunching up the bones. So what owls do is, is it makes it a lot easier for them to swallow. So what they'll do is they'll crunch up the bones, see if she takes it, and then she'll swallow it down. Now, what also a lot of owls will do, she might drop, there we go. And she's gonna swallow the whole thing whole. She's gonna crush up all the bones on the way down, just like that, and it's gone. What? That was a quick that breakfast. That was amazing. So everything they eat, they pretty much swallow whole. Um, if they can grab a bigger prey item or that's what's available, they will sit and tear it apart. But for the most part, they like to grab things that they are, that's able to be consumed quickly. So they I can grab it, another one. eat it, and go back up to the trees. Let's see if she takes Now, it Savannah at home, not this Savannah, noticed that thing she was doing with her throat. It's right. kind of going back and forth. What is that? So that means a couple things. So she's uh, panting a little bit, which means she's either a little nervous she's, or from the camera being too close. Um, also, when she gets real hot, or real stressed out, she'll start to pant that a lot and her tongue will start sticking out just like a dog does when he's hot and he needs some water. I don't think she's gonna go okay. with that one. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see she stopped, so I think it's more just nervous of having the people around, having the camera so close, um, and she's uh, starting to relax there. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Anybody else got questions about Athena? Mackenzie wants to know, is this the smartest animal in the world? There's a big, uh, big debate over uh, owl means wisdom. So I won't say that they are the smartest bird, but they are definitely intelligent animals. Now, Crystal wants to know how many teeth does she have? So actually birds do not have any teeth. They have these beaks right here, okay? So she has the top and low, uh, lower one. They're made for shredding stuff apart. But her main uh, thing is not the beak. It's not the beak you want to be worried about. It's down here. You guys see these talons? All right, these are razor sharp. She has about three to 500 crushing pounds of pressure in there. So if you were to get near this animal, this is what you want to watch out for. I wouldn't worry about the beak. It's this that you don't want to be caught by because these are razor sharp. They can cut you just by uh, going across you. Um, and if she grabs you, she's definitely going to crush whatever's in there. And that's how they kill their prey. Mm -hmm. Now, her feathers look really soft. It doesn't look like she has rough feathers. Can you tell us about that? They are. These are one of the softest birds I have ever worked with in my life. Uh, owls are made with soft uh, feathers. You see the, the edges are also like a serrated uh, edge on all the feathers. And that basically helps them to fly silent. This is the f most silent bird of flight uh, in the world. They fly up to about 40 miles an hour and you cannot hear a thing. If it w were to swoop right by you, you would never even know. Now, why is it important for them to fly quietly? Because a lot of their hunting, they want to be quiet so they can um, not be seen or noticed by prey. So what they do is they'll sit up on a tree, they'll roost up on a branch, um, they'll locate their prey. They have very excellent hearing. They can hear a, the tiny mouse like you guys just saw up to 900 yards away. Incredible. Uh, and what they do is they'll sit up, they'll roost, they'll find their prey, and they'll swoop down 40 miles an hour, completely silent, crush their prey, and never even knows they're coming. Wow. Now, someone just asked if they shed, and I know, I mean, they don't shed like a reptile does, but do they go through different amounts of feathers? Like, are there more feathers during some seasons and more less during others? So I've noticed uh, a lot right before she starts to get ready to uh, nest, she'll shed some feathers. Um, it's, she'll shed every feather from her face, little tiny feathers, her wing feathers, her tail feathers, they do shed. Um, and she goes through quite a bit. Now, for those that are just joining us, can you explain again how Athena came to be here at Gatorland? Yes, so Athena was actually hit by a car when she was real young, uh, not sure the exact age, but she was hit by a car and those people were actually nice enough to stop, pick her up and take her to the uh, nearest wildlife sanctuary where they did uh, the best rehabilitation um, they could. 
um, and was unable to save this left wing and to make her be able to fly again. So I'll try and hold it up for you guys. She has an amazing wingspan, but see how it hangs out a little real low there, her shoulders in, rather is the, this one. Let's see if we can get her to raise this one. She doesn't like that. <laughs> so we can't get that out, uh, but it hangs a lot lower. So she's unable to fly. Basically what that means is she can glide straight to the ground, um, but she cannot get any lift to get up onto up a rooftop or to climb up a tree, but she does climb very well. We have some uh, chicken wire in her enclosure so she can get up to perches. Um, she can make it to every perch that we have built for her, um, but she is an excellent climber. Very good. Now, again, this is Athena, the owl here at Gatorland. And uh, some people are asking how long an owl can live. So in the wild, owls usually let, live about five to 15 years. Um, in captivity, um, it's pretty close to doubling between 30 years. Uh, 40 years uh the longest one to ever live was 50 years and that was in california zoo all right and, and isla wants to know uh are they native to florida they are these guys are native to all the americas south america central america and north america widespread most diverse diverse raptor bird um in the americas yes all right all right guys thank you so much for being here with athena I'm really excited to be here with Athena. So Tyson, thank you so much. Thank you guys. She's like the coolest thing I get to watch at Gatorland from afar. I love birds of prey. If you guys have more questions, comments, please post them in the School of Croc Facebook group that we have set up. Anyone can join, it's completely free. You guys can post pictures of your kids while they're watching. You can post videos of questions that you might have. We're sharing those all to Gatorland's big Facebook page and we're trying to interact with you guys as much as possible. Give you guys a little bit of an education about some of the amazing animals in the state of Florida and some of the amazing animals here at Gatorland. So until tomorrow at 10 a.m. from you. me, Tyson, and Athena. See you tomorrow, same croc time, same croc channel. Bye, Bye we love you guys.